Okay, so at this point, I've gone ahead and I've replaced the symbols. If we come down here, I've just done a simple save over, and there's my four symbols. And the reason why I'm not renaming them, which I could do if I wanted to rename them, I could then go back in the code and swap it out. But it's just a lot easier to keep the files as the default naming and just replace the content within them. So next what we want to do is you're going to want to, in Photoshop or whatever graphics program you're editing in, is you're going to want to open up the background image. So if we take a look at the screenshot of how the Gamble Kit will actually run, we notice that it's a little bit different from the graphics itself. The difference being is that there is not in the application this bottom brown uh, rectangle. So we actually don't want to modify that. Instead what we're going to do is we're going to change the content over here. Now in Photoshop, what I like to do is I'm going to actually change all this text out. I'm going to create a custom background and I'm going to do that using multiple layers. For the images right here, I'm actually going to create rectangle vectors or yeah. And so I would come in here and create vectors. I need to make sure that the corners are a little bit smaller. So let's change the radius down to something like 20 and see if that gives us what we need. A little less. How about 25 or 15? Actually, sorry, 15 or 10. Cool. So it looks like we're going to be working with 10 pixels. So what you'll want to do is simply come over here, outline one, duplicate it five more five times or a total of yeah, a total of five, and then simply create your background. Do the same thing for this, create a bar and then just create a gradient field over it. Uh, same thing with this, have a gradient or if you don't want to do a gradient, it's up to you. I'm going to go ahead and modify my content. When I'm done, I'll pull this back up and show you how I've created the layers. Okay, so I've gone ahead, I've finished up the design. This is what it originally looked like. This is what the updated with the minions look like. Now, how did I do this? I added drop shadows on the inside here. I moved them around. I added a drop shadow below. Um, I set the fill for each of these at 60% so I could see the minions behind them. I added drop shadows and strokes to each of the numbers here. I placed in our icons that we replaced and added drop shadows behind them so they all pop out. I took the Minions logo from another Photoshop file which I then cut out all the white from it and then here I placed brick I found online from different images and made it so that it looks like one full set of brick like almost like they're in the subway in a sense looking directly up and then simply added credits and winnings. My text for this I used Arial Black. Straight, simple, and forward.